What's up, Ninja? This is Dee here, and today I'm going to go over what is going on with that hair preset folder that is not showing up in your B-Roid Studios. I have a lot of comments asking me like they can't find this hair preset folder they bought or downloaded, and I've tried to explain it in words, and I feel like it's still a little confusing, and I still see the same comments once in a while, so I'm going to just explain it in a very short video. So here it is. Now, Peachy reached out to me on Discord, and she gave me this hair preset file so that I could look at it. So this is what she sent me. This is, I'm assuming, what she got from wherever she bought it. You can see it's a zip folder. You're going to click on the zip folder and you're going to extract it. Now this is what it's named. You're going to open that folder and make sure that all that's inside of it is materials folder and preset JSON. That's it. If there's a folder inside of this folder, it will not work. So make sure when you open said hair folder, I know it's getting a little confusing. When you open this folder, make sure it's just these two things in it. If there's anything else, like if there's like, for example, for example, it might be like this. So for whatever reason, you open the folder and there's another folder. You got to make sure you take this out and put it in the previous folder. Just delete that. Okay. A little confusing, but just make sure this is all that's in your folder. Okay. Now you need to rename this folder to preset an, and a number. To figure out what that number is, you're going to go into your Vroid Studios hair folder. So this is my hair folder. As you can see, this is where it's located in Windows 10. If you're a Mac user or using an older version of Windows, I don't know where it is and I'm sorry I cannot help you. So these are my presets. I'm going to name it 41 so it doesn't collide with any of these. Right? I'm going to name it 41. Now I'm going to drag it into this folder. Make sure I don't drag into another preset folder. That'd be bad. As you can see, it's now in here. Okay. Now you're going to notice that this folder probably has a name like of something else. And to rename it, check out my other video to figure out how to rename your hair preset files. I'm not going to cover it in this one. Now that you have this in your hair preset folder, open Vroid Studios. I'm going to create a new avatar just to show off this hair. You're going to go hair editor, you're going to scroll down, as you can see this is mine that I renamed. And you can tell that the folder that I just dragged in is named preset 17. As I said, you can rename it, just go to my other video to figure out how. I'm going to click that and hit import. And it imports just fine. So this file does work and uh, hopefully the steps that I just took kind of show you the right way to do it. I'm not exactly sure if this is the problem that everyone is having. Hopefully this does help some of you guys. If for whatever reason you're confused, feel free to Discord me and hopefully the question you're asking me is not in any of my videos, otherwise I'm going to just link you a video instead. But if it's something that you guys really don't know, go ahead and Discord me. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and like my video, otherwise I will know. I'm not going to help you. Little kidding, not really. So yeah, do that and uh, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Comment below if you guys have any questions. Peace.